quarterbacks can be? <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. I, I wish I could. Uh, we're still working through it. It'll be, like I said, uh, when he trots out there, he'll have out. So. Cliff, you said game time, but on Sunday when you start game prep, will you change the reps to like two-third, one-third, or will you go 50-50 all next week? Uh, we'll see. We don't know how many are going to play or what we're going to do at all. We, you know, We're going to get in as a staff Sunday and really talk about that, the rotation, um, things of that nature. So we're still working through that the rest of this week. Could you anticipate playing both of them on, uh, on Friday? Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Um, you know, if it's a situation where they both deserve the reps, uh, we're not afraid to do that. So they both had great camps, and um, we'll see. Uh, you know, Davis is here in the spring, and fast learner, coach's kid, really strong arm, big, uh, athletic, took loves football. And, and, you know, Baker coming from Lake Travis, won a bunch of games, used to winning. Uh, scrappy guy, runs around, makes plays. So uh, both guys can get it done. They just get it done different ways. Uh, they've done a great job. Uh, they've both come along, uh, Baker and uh, Davis Webb both. Uh, they both competed really well, and they both uh, bring something to the team, uh, something unique to the team that maybe the other may not bring. Uh, but it's definitely uh, fun to watch the competition and them grow over over this course of this uh, fall. And I wonder if you just kind of compare and contrast what they do better, you know, one, one does better than the other. Uh, I guess something else stand out is uh, Baker. He, he's really able to keep the play alive and extend plays, and he has a great mobility in the pocket and, and getting out and being able to make plays. And uh, you know, Davis is just his confidence and he, what he brings to the team. He prepares himself, and uh, you know, he uh, really, really loves his position and, and takes full advantage. And uh, you know, really works hard on his craft and uh, the, the type of balls he throws. And also, you know, standing as tall as he does, it's nice to be able to see seeing everything. And uh, he has definitely a good arm. Sometimes are you kind of amazed that both those guys are freshmen, the kind of command they have, the way their authority in the huddle, that it's kind of strange for, for a young guy to have that right off the bat. Yeah, absolutely. And that, that's something we saw from Davis, you know, enrolling early in January. He had a really good spring and, you know, bringing, coming out and also having a good fall. And then Baker as well, you know, only been here since uh, July, I think it was. So for him to grasp uh, the offense as quickly as he has, uh, is really, really amazing to watch. And uh, he's really competing really well. Do you guys have a sense in your mind of, who's ahead at quarterback without saying, and just you kind of have a gut feel of, of who's more ready to go, or is it still really a coin flip? Yeah, it's really still a coin flip. I mean, those guys, are, it, it, you're, we're in a situation where both of those guys are doing you know, great things and, and, and really moving the ball. And so um, we're in a good situation. It's a tough situation from that standpoint of, of playing one, but both of those guys are doing a great job. I mean, being a freshman, they both handle the pressure well of going out there and making plays. So I think they're both they're good at what they're doing. And, I mean, as players, we all look up to them because, you know, they are in a position to start. So, I mean, we just decided to see what they both bring to the table in the game situation. And Irvin, especially from a leadership standpoint, both those guys are freshmen, and it sounds like they've taken control of the huddle right from the beginning. Let's talk about how strange that was to see them come out and, and you know, demand stuff from you guys right off the bat. I mean, to me it's not strange because, you know, it doesn't matter in college. As long as you can play football, you can play. So, I mean... They're both like leaders in their own way, and they just go out there and do what they have to do to get the job done. Eric, is there an adjustment as a receiver just catching two different balls from uh, from a couple of different guys? Not really. I mean, the ball's gonna come to you anyway. You just got to catch it. At the end of the day, as a receiver, you got to catch the ball and make a play. So that's what I. That's my motto. That's all I got to do. And that's for any other receiver. You just got to catch the ball and go make a play. Particular characteristic that you're looking for in your starting quarterback, whether it's poise or leadership or confidence. Just whoever can win the game. That's really it. That's the bottom line. Um, and both these guys have proven that in high school, and um, I'm sure they'll prove it at this level.